All right, guys. I've got the heads back to the front of the bench. Been real busy lately. I moved twice in the past six months, but I just got back from LS Fest with a little bit of motivation. All right, uh, I'm still where we were last time. Got all the uh, intake valve guide bosses on both heads. shaped the way I want them. Got the uh, swirl ramp there is gone. And then, like I said again, I've got it done to all ports, intake ports on both heads. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back and do the same thing to the exhaust uh, valve guide boss. It's going to be our focus for tonight. Hopefully I'll get both these heads done tonight. I don't have much time, but it's time to get the ball rolling. Alright, I'll be back. One more thing guys, I'd like to uh, correct the, my terminology I was using on my previous video. I kept calling the, uh, the meat here around the uh, valve guide, this is the valve guide here, and this meat around it that I was narrowing down, I was calling it the valve guide. This is the valve guide boss. And I hope I didn't confuse anybody in my previous videos. Here is the valve guide boss that I've ground down a little bit of the valve guide but mostly I'm focusing on the on the boss alright I apologize for that alright here's a little clip just to show um, how much meat is actually coming off that valve guide boss there's one untouched a little lubricant this one here let's put a gouge in the side there so you can see how much is actually coming off some of y'all may be surprised when you start biting into it and be afraid that you're taking off too much there's a pretty big chunk of aluminum that gets removed from the boss just over here see if you can see it around two-thirds away around that one there all right more to come all right we're done for the night and this is the end of part three where we did the exhaust valve guide boss right now i'm showing you the intake on the left and the exhaust port on the right. Tonight I got all eight exhaust port valve guide bosses done. Going through here and just showing you there's intake, exhaust. This is the rough cut both on the intake and the exhaust. Once we get everything cut down then I'll go back and smooth everything out with Tootsie Rolls. Make sure everything's shaped right the way we need it. Try light at a different angle, see if you can see anything different. So it don't look too pretty until you go in there and clean it up with the Tootsie Roll. But that's it for tonight. Y'all let me know if you want a different angle or have any questions. And I'll try to get either your questions answered or maybe a different picture or angle on these heads. Good night.